Thank you for joining this lightning talk about doing data analytics in Nextcloud. I will talk about open source data warehouse and reporting using the analytics app. My name is Marcel Chiarello and after several years of offending the audio player, this is my second major app. Every application starts with the demand. With analytics, the idea was to have a data warehouse completely on-premise. Um, it should connect data from, from different sources and provide seamless Nextcloud integration for uh, perfect usability. Um, and of course, flexible visualization of your data um, in, in, in all directions. And afterwards, uh, if you have a report, share the data with your internal users, with your colleagues, or even with external customers. So the aim was to create a small alternative to existing business intelligence tools uh, on the market. Based on my professional background in uh, business intelligence, the, the architecture of the analytics app is following a layered and uh, modular approach and is fully created into, integrated into the Nextcloud user experience like workflows, notifications, activities, and also the new uh, Nextcloud 20 dashboard. Uh, on the following slides, I will give you an overview about the back end, front end, and also two use cases of the app. Let's have a look at the backend first. Uh, Analytics offers uh, various connectors out of the box. Uh, on the Nextcloud side, data can come from files, workflows, or manual data. Actually. If you wanna, if you need to read data from external sources, connectors for GitHub, JSON, um, or also website, um, Grabber is available. And if you plan to integrate analytics in your IoT setup, uh, for example, a REST API uh, can receive data from external scripts. Then all of these data sources can either be used for real-time reporting or also be stored into the internal storage via daily snapshots, for example. Let's have a look what it can do with the data. Obviously, it's all about visualization. Reports offer table, various chart types, filter, drill down capabilities. It's everything that you would expect from a reporting solution. For collaboration, uh, reports can be shared uh, externally via links or internally for, for users and groups. And when talking about seamless Nextcloud integration, um, obviously the new Nextcloud 20 dashboards uh, with these nice microcharts, the best example, or also notifications based on acceptance. But uh, how does it look like in the real world? I would like to show you two use cases, uh, which I am actually uh, using on a daily basis. I have uh, little mo Bluetooth moisture sensors in, in some of my plants. Uh, then I have a little Raspberry, uh, which is reading these values and pushing them to the next cloud uh, REST API. Within the reporting, uh, then I can see the uh, history of the watering, but to make a real use out of it, I defined threshold for the moisture levels. And whenever a plant is drying out, I'm receiving a push notification via the Nextcloud uh, iOS app. My next uh, real world example is uh, financial data. Um, using Nextcloud workflow, I'm monitoring uh, files with the Nextcloud and whenever new data is, is, is added, it's automatically added uh, into the analytics report. Uh, I shared this report via a password link with external customers who can always analyze this up-to-date uh, data without even uh, having a user in Nextcloud. I want to thank you um, for your attention and have some numbers to close the presentation. Analytics is now nine months old, uh, has already around 8,000 uh, installations. It's now the ninth, ninth feature release and is already fully Nextcloud 20 ready. In this context, uh, I want to send some special thanks to Julius and Joas from the Nextcloud team who made this uh, integration uh, even possible. Please enjoy the rest of the conference and I'm looking forward to any feedback or questions. Thank you.